Hello everybody, my name is Violet Embers, and welcome back to another Pocket Mirror. And where we last left off, I was chased by this, uh, girl with, like, white hair that would go through mirrors. It was kind of terrifying. And now we're looking for that other girl who screamed, I think. Well, she went missing. The bust of an important-looking man whose menacing ill-defined features are deeply engraved into the marble. Ooh. The blemish painting of a crying girl running through the dark woods, wearing a badly torn gown. Wow. Wow. That's a bit dark right there. I wish I had, like, an actual thing here. Like, a, a flashlight. Oh, it's too dark. Okay, so there should be something around that is going to help me, maybe? Oh, I just want a door. Hello? What's this? There's an open journal on this desk. I had never intended to break this family apart. This incident is nothing more than an unfortunate twist of fate, or so I want to believe. However, I have become unable to tolerate such outbursts of utter madness. To believe that this family has become nothing more than a vile being, being's plaything is completely outrageous and unacceptable. I shall take responsibility for your actions as my final loving gesture, so that you may rest in peace. To you, my dear, I owe all the affections I could ever give you if you were to live. Wait, hold on. <laughs> to you, my dear, I owe all the affection I could ever give you. You were to live any longer. Oh, were you to live any longer? The rest of the pages are stuck together. So who's that? Was that like the, the dad? Sergeant Mayor Roman Perde Hillage? Hillage? I hereby leave you this letter in regards to your daughter's behavior. During my tutoring classes, I believe it has come to your attention that she is not the most in the most healthy of states. If not, then I would suggest you consult a doctor. Recently, she's been demonstrating a bizarre tendency for violence, which is reflected in her nervous outburst during my class. Things such as ripping pages off books, suddenly scribbling, scribbling over her own notes, and throwing tantrums when asked to read have become the norm. Howard, as disturbing as these behaviors might seem, her true violent tendencies are aggravated to the point of ripping her own hair off during lectures and attempting to hurt herself with a quill. I myself have occasion to become the target of these hysterical behaviors, and that, sir, I refuse to tolerate any further. I'm sending you this letter as a resignation. Wow, that's a pretty long letter. Okay, now I want some, uh... There should be something here. I want the, the charms. Yes! Found a charm. I knew there'd be some. Can I... Okay, I guess I can't go this way. Yeah, I, I guess I can't go that way. Oh well. So where else can I go? And go around here? Does this one have a charm too? Yes! I'm getting all the charms. Okay, let's go up here. Is there anything here any I can read? Discipline understanding children's psychology. Oh. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Not even gonna try. All these were written in Braille. Oh, does that mean there's a blind person here? All these are written in Braille. Okay then. What's this? Old phonograph rests on table covered with dust and cobwebs. Interesting. I'm going to check all this stuff real quickly, guys. Because I want to make sure that I have everything. Oh, it looks like there's a note over there that I could probably read. Can I read this note thingy? Or is it not a note? I guess not. Alright, time to go this way. You look really old. There are torn. There's a torn letter here. All the above treatments have failed, leading me to send you this letter. Priest John Joseph Gassner 
My family needs your help. She doesn't have much time left. Word of your success has reached me, and so I, I so humbly ask you visit my home and administer your treatment. It ends here. Okay, then. Um, does this mean that Calcula Simone Regis is Latin, isn't it? So does that mean that the, the girl we're talking to, the one that's, like, all nice and, um, the one that's, like, super nice and supposedly, like, my angel... She is a cray cray woman who's going to somehow murder me. Next, stab me in the back. I feel like all these characters are going to be stabbing me in the back. Not just that mirror chick. It's a really big Bible. Okay. Uh, uh, Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. Oh, isn't that the one that, like, killed her? He, no, he killed his father, married his mother, and then when he found out that he married his mother, he uh, he gouged his own eyes out, and then just ran off, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Hello. What is this? Oh, it looks like a very sad family. Oh, that looks like me, right there, in the corner, but then who's the one on the, the right? I guess that's the family? Ooh. Why am I in that photograph? Oh no, I wanted to read the thing at the at the cor oh damn it. What's going on? Yeah, what is going on? I better not get too close. I assume there are things that are going to be trying to kill me here. Did I go this way? These are all written in braille. I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, nothing else here. Oh wait. Here you go, nope. I mustn't disappoint father. I mustn't tro trouble brother. Such a messy handwriting. So that means they're talking about me? Interesting. And okay, this is just a wall. Hmm. Uh, Adam Miller. Okay. These all seem to be medical letters. After analyzing the patient's mental mental health these past few days, I can now securely state my diagnosis. It has come to my attention that the patient Elise de Helige has been having nightly visions, imbalance of the body humors, and melancholia? Oh, I, th I guess this is like really old um, diseases that people thought other people had. Elise. Hmm. Oh, is that the, the chick that we just saw? Ah, I haven't played for like a week. I don't remember. Such behavior is not harmful to other members of the subject's family. However, it is quickly wearing down the subject's health. The patient should spend their days at ease with moderate consumption of thin white wine, the practice of a gentle exercise, warm baths, plenty of sleep, moderate carnal co copulation, carnal, okay, and exposure to soothing music. I shall pay the patient a visit a month from now to verify the progression of all the symptoms. Interesting. So does that mean, like, um, either my character or the one that we just saw, she's just, like, really, really stressed out because of all the things. Ah! Son of a gun that made me jump. Okay, what is this? Acquire an old rack wax record. That made me jump. I hate it. I hate it so much. So, I think I'm done here. Pied Piper! Oh, I can go up here. Interesting. Don't think there's anything else I can get from here. I think I'm gonna say before I... I somehow out myself. Okay, I don't think I go back there. I need, like, some kind of, uh... No, I... Come on, I want... I want some, like... I want some light. Dark spots. Blah, blah, blah. What's this? 
All the razors of parched flowers. Huh. Where? How did I even get here? Which way can I even go? Can I go this way? Can't hear anything coming out of this room. Wait, what? Can't hear anything coming from this room. Okay. So then what? What do I do? It's locked. Dang it! I can't go anywhere. So I need to find like a flashlight or something. So that I can uh, progress. Hmm. It's too dark. Okay, so but then where do I where do I go to get the lamp? Can I can I use the lamp from here? Can I please? Por favor. Ah sorry. There we go. Okay, maybe I can find something here that's going to give me some stuff. Dust and cobwebs. There should be something. I know there's something here. Gotta find it. Excuse me for a moment, guys, while I go and try to find this thing and hopefully it doesn't completely terrify me. Oh, wait, what's this? Like in a diary entry. Tonight I have encountered the same scenario yet again. Invading my dreams, that mysterious shadow taunts me to follow it along a never-ending staircase. Tonight, too, I stood silently resting the shadow's sweet promises of salvation and freedom. Before tomorrow's dawning light, I shall no longer be here. This is awful. So somebody is begging her to go and kill herself, maybe? Musical score. Symphony. Lamatone. Lamatone! I can't read this thingy if Okay, I guess I can't. Where, oh where, do I go for a lighter? Hmm. No. Don't know where to go here. I'm so lost! Hmm. Yeah, so I don't know where to go or what to do. I can't reach any of the lights here. And I already read all this stuff. Dang it! Hmm. Welcome, O Silver Moon, fair silent companion of the night. You flee, hurry not, stay, friend of. Stay, friend of thoughts. See, it stays, the cloud only billowed towards it. Maybe awakening, it's only more beautiful still, like the summer night, when the dew drops from Maylock's clear light and up to the hills come reddish. You more noble ones, the last solemn moss already grows on your tombs. Oh, how happy I was as I saw with you the red and dawn of night shimmer. Okay then. Dude is cray cray. I wonder what happens if I can like uh cardigan wax record? Can I do anything? I am recording this. I leave you my my children. My testimony of what I have brought onto them, or something, of our lives, of a being whose hold of my beloved daughter is everything mother could do for you. Hope is your pocket mirror, my girl. All that I can say. Deepest regrets. Huh. She knows his voice. Okay. So we got something like that out of the way. Hmm. Still don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. 
All right, then let's just go exploring a lot more. Hopefully, I'll... oh wait. Ooh, there's a place here. Woohoo! Found it. F -f Found it. Is someone there? Yes. Please, I need your help. I've been hearing strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need you to get the key to this room for me. All right. Where is it? Solve this riddle and you'll find it. Listen closely because I won't be repeating myself. Lurking in the shadows, lost in dismay, golden radiance lies unscathed, awaiting the light of day. At dawn shall the beast awake, guided by the northern star, you must advance. Drawn by cheerful, cheerful chirping, hope always follows in search of guidance. Turn to the heartful gallows. Announced by the bills is your demise should you not pray for eastern sunrise. The door no opens as he draws near. Silence is your outlay, clouded with fear. Wait, I don't understand. Yes, I don't understand either. You have to hurry, now go. Dang it. Whoa. Okay, that's scary. Alright then. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, awesome. One left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Okay. Six up again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Three right. One, two, three. Okay, I gotta wait here. Woo! Okay, and then two right, one, two. There's something under the rug. And I found this out, guys, because I had to look it up because I just kept dying. <laughs> Is this it? Acquired a rusty key. Run back to the door. Okay. Oh, wait, do I go up here then? Nope, not that one. I guess there's a door down here I don't know about. Let's go this way. I got your key. Great, now open the door. What happened? Can we go in? So there's a door here. Yes. Okay, there's there's a lot of candles, but I can't have any of these. Whoa. Okay, then. Alright, so what is this? This looks like some sort of altar and it's changing colors. Uh-oh, what did I do? Did I die? No! No! How, wait, how did I die? That's not cool. How did I die? Sorry, I kind of clicked out. Alright, then now that I've died a few times, let's see if I can actually uh, make it. Did she run away? Okay, I have to get this thing right? No, this thing. Oh no, wait. over here. <laughs> Gotta run! Did I get the thing? Part an old wax record. There was a picture there too. Oh wow. Okay, I guess uh, my character somehow went insane? Yeah? I think, I think that's what happened. Huh. Weird. What is this? It's me going cuckoo. Okay, I'm gonna go and save because I am a save nut. Oh, this place is actually looking a little bit better now. Alright, let's go. Uh, I'll go and file one. 
Drop a save. Oh boy. Alright, so let's go this way. This place is actually looking better since, like, there's nothing else here. Ooh, yes! Pumpkin charm! I knew it! Hmm. So I can go this way. Um. Are you sure this will be alright? Of course, my love. You are safe here. There is no need for you to worry. What about your family? That's a different matter. It has nothing to do with us, my dear. What about your daughter? What about her? Won't you suffer from this? I will be sure to take care of that issue soon. Now hush, my dear. Let us not worry about the future. Such an unpleasant- Is there an affair going down? Wait, let me check these. Memoirs. An elegant- Young elegant lady poses peacefully with a serene expression on her face. What oh, this dude? Underlying desire. Painting of a boy attempting to escape a horned demon. Okay, then. That's a uh, bit spooky. I don't know why I just don't, I don't trust chandeliers. There are people in there. Okay, then. Alright, then. This is why I don't trust chandeliers. The torn chandelier rests shattered on the floor. Its candles are strewn about. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can do there, so let's go down. Oh, I can still go down. Sweet! Ooh, there's a person there. How dare you disobey me? What have I told you about leaving the room during the night? I'm sorry, father. What the fudge? This is the last time you'll ever disobey me. Now get in your room and do not dare come out until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes, father. Wow. That is, uh... Weird. You know what I'm gonna save? In the case I do end up dying. Like I almost uh, died with the chandelier. Drop a save! Alright, let's uh, go see what this crying's all about. Oh, what's this? Are you gonna give me stuff? Broken wine bottle. Wait. No, wait. I think it was here? Yeah, it must have been here, right? Can I go in here? Hello, go get in there. Okay, I guess I can't go in. Are there any more uh, charms I can get a hold of? You a charm? Yes! I knew it. There are charms everywhere. Ha ha! I didn't think I was gonna get another one, but apparently I did. I do apologize if I'm being too loud. I've actually increased the uh, sensitivity or something for um, the recording, so I should be a lot uh, louder. Where have you been? Harpy, I have been looking everywhere for you. Yeah, she has like those dead doll eyes. I'm sorry. I, I just heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise? Yes. Didn't you hear it? No, I haven't heard it. More importantly, are you alright, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? <laughs> oh, no. I just died a couple of times in that creepy dark hallway, but you know. Nothing to worry about. I'm alright. That's a relief. However, you should not go around by yourself, do you understand? I... No buts, miss. The mansion can be a very dangerous... Can be very dangerous as it is very old. You could get hurt if you wander around carelessly. I'm sorry, Harpy. <laughs> it's alright, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpy. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? 
Because that sound was so loud. And since you're... I'm... Oh, it's nothing. I just thought you could, you could have gotten hurt. <laughs> There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Yay! Now, c come now. Let us get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. <laughs> okay, let's... Give me your hand so you just don't get lost. Okay. Feel like thing bad things are gonna happen. Harpy. Yes? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor, and it's gotten pretty dark. I know the way, so there's nothing to worry about. I see. Alright. We're here, miss. Ooh, that's so pretty. Are you feeling alright, miss? My head hurts. You must be tired. Ah, oh, yes. It'll pass. Don't worry, Harpy. Please tell me if it doesn't. I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpy. Come, let's sit. It'd be best if we talk while sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Oh, I... Hmm. I don't know which one to pick because, you know, telling the truth has gotten me moited. But also telling the lie has gotten me murdered, too. Hmm. Uh, do I don't know what to pick. Da 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 da. I'll tell the truth. I, I went to the floor above the one you were in. The noise seemed to come from above, so you shouldn't have gone there, Miss. I. No, oh, it's all right. I'm not upset. I was just worried about you. Oh, okay. Please, nights. You don't need to make such an expression, miss. I'm sorry, Harpy. No, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a cough. Anyway, where are we? Oh, this is a simple reception room. Ah, I see. I'm so glad you're safe, my girl. But even so, you do look a bit bewildered. I... I'd just like to ask you something, Harpe. Please go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. What'd you be sorry for? There's like... There's a bunch of noises and people getting slapped. I don't mean to scare you, but I've heard some voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss, but there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are you sure? Yes. But it must have been your imagination, I'm sure. I see you must be right. You must be very tired. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guests in the upper room. Oh no! What's the matter? There's a button missing on your cardigan. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice it was missing. I'm so sorry, my girl. I mustn't have sewed it properly. No, I'm sorry. I was the one who lost it. I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? Uh, do -do. I don't know what to do. I'll go with her. Yes, why not? Let's go then. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it off here, guys. So if you like this video, please leave me a like or a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. No matter if I win or lose. Ooh. Flutter, I, I don't understand. Why should I be the one to disappear? What is it? What is it that you don't understand? Oh. Disappear? So is she like a part of the mirror then? You want someone to play with you, but you've never been my friend from the start. Why should I be the one in the wrong? Enough. <laughs>